Warren Buffett, the American billionaire, is one of the most respected investors in history. His long track record of picking profitable stocks has earned him a loyal following in the investment community. Presently, he serves as the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway. This conglomerate owns a diverse range of businesses and stock holdings. Under his leadership, Berkshire Hathaway has consistently delivered impressive stock returns. Warren Buffett also selling $8 billion worth of stock. That also has people concerned. Warren Buffett selling $8 billion worth of stock, that's actually a rounding error in his portfolio. It's <laughs> almost meaningless doesn't matter and he's just trying to stay diversified and my bet is that sales actually one of his new managers just trimming a portfolio and that's why the market doesn't care that much about it. The secret to Buffett's investing success is straightforward. He prioritizes investing in individual companies over chasing market trends and zeroes in on top-notch companies with stable financials. Moreover, he seeks out stocks that appear undervalued only to sell them years later when they achieve their actual market value. This approach is known as value investing. While this strategy might seem straightforward on paper, replicating Buffett's stock picking prowess is not that easy. His approach requires a deep understanding of the market and businesses which might be beyond the grasp of the average investor. Fortunately, Buffett isn't just a brilliant investor. He's also a fountain of wisdom and is generous in sharing his insights. And Ben Graham would say that you're not right or wrong because a thousand people agree with you. And you're not right or wrong because a thousand people disagree with you. You're right because your facts and your reasoning are right. For those inspired to follow in his footsteps, here are some of the fundamental principles to incorporate into your investment journey. Principle number one, invest in companies you know. Warren Buffett's investment approach is all about knowledge and diligence. Rather than getting swayed by market trends or popular stocks, Buffett suggests investing in companies and industries you understand. When you know about an industry or business, from its financial health to its competitive edge, you're better equipped to evaluate its prospects and make better investment choices. If you have prior business experience, you might be at an advantage because you possess first-hand insights into business operations and the challenges and opportunities that arise. While first-hand knowledge is beneficial, it's not a must-have. What's more important is that you use a fact-driven approach to evaluate potential investments. Warren Buffett takes a comprehensive approach to investing. Rather than solely focusing on financial data, he examines a company's position in the market, its ability to outperform competitors, and the strengths of its leadership team. He believes in deep research and understanding the finer details of a business before investing rather than being swayed by short-lived market trends. This method reduces investment risks and aims for sustained growth. For Buffett, investing isn't about luck. It's a strategic choice to support companies with long-term potential and value. I know, in general, what the economics of, say, Wrigley chewing gum will look like 10 years from now. The internet isn't going to change the way people chew gum. It isn't going to change which gum they chew. You know, if you own the chewing gum market in a big way, and you've got double mint and spearmint and juicy fruit, those brands will be there 10 years from now. So I can't pinpoint exactly what the numbers are going to look like on Wrigley, but I'm not going to be way off if I try to look forward on something like that. Principle number two, invest in companies with a competitive moat. A competitive moat means a business has a unique edge that sets it apart, making it challenging for competitors to catch up. Think of it as a company's secret weapon. It's more than just what they sell, it's something unique they do or have. For instance, a company might have patented innovations that streamline operations or enhance product quality. Take Google for instance. It started out as one of the many ordinary search engines but quickly rose to the top because of its unique algorithms. For new investors, these are the types of businesses worth identifying. Yet as you can imagine, this is easier said than done. Spotting such companies is challenging. It requires rigorous research and a thorough understanding of the industry. To locate premier companies within a market, studying their competition is crucial. Look at a company's financial health to see if it's stable. Check if their products are more popular than others. 
see if they have unique technologies or patents that others don't and importantly find out if people trust and recognize their brand. Buffett believes that examining these factors can quickly identify the top companies in any industry. Principle number three, invest in companies with a good management team. When investing in a company as a shareholder, it's crucial to ensure that the management team prioritizes your interests alongside the interests of the business. These priorities should ideally align. This philosophy is central to Warren Buffett's investment strategy. One way to gauge management's effectiveness is by observing their dividend distribution patterns. Regular growth in dividends and buybacks usually indicates a promising sign. It's also beneficial to assess the satisfaction of the company's employees. A satisfied workforce often translates to a thriving business that is likely to attract and retain top talent. On the other hand, companies with dissatisfied employees may lose valuable talent and intellectual capital, jeopardizing their future prospects. So if you're an ethical investor, you must pay close attention to employee treatment as it may significantly influence your investment decisions. Principle number four, focus on quality. With this rule, Buffett is telling us, don't just chase after businesses because they seem like a great deal. Go for the solid, reputable ones, even if they cost a bit more. Think of it like shopping. Would you rather buy a cheap pair of shoes that might fall apart after a few wears or invest more in a quality pair that'll last for years? Buffett's saying the same thing but about companies. His quote, it's far better to buy a wonderful company at a fair price than a fair company at a wonderful price. It's like saying, go for the quality shoes, not just the ones on sale. So instead of being swayed by a low stock price, Buffett wants us to look deeper into the company's actual worth, track record, and potential for future growth. In his view, investing is not about grabbing the cheapest option, it's about finding value that'll last. Therefore, you should focus on purchasing shares of a top-tier company at a reasonable price over subpar companies because their shares are available at a discount. Principle number five, don't follow the crowd. With this rule, Warren Buffett strongly advocates for independent thinking when investing. Here's what he's getting at. Just because everyone is raving about a particular stock on social media or chat rooms doesn't mean it's the best buy for you. Following trends can sometimes lead to hasty decisions where you're driven more by the fear of missing out than by sound judgment. At the same time, Buffett warns against being a contrarian just for the sake of it. This means you shouldn't automatically oppose popular opinion or sell stocks solely because they're the talk of the town. Instead, you should completely ignore these group dynamics and decide based on your research and understanding. Buffett also states, the most important quality for an investor is temperament, not intellect. He believes it's not about being the most intelligent person in the room, but maintaining composure, patience, and emotional stability. This helps in not getting too swept up when everyone's buying or panicking when everyone's selling. By not being overly elated by the crowd or against it, you can keep a cool head and focus on your investment's long-term value and potential. Principle number six, invest when markets are panicking. The core principle of stock investing is to purchase when prices are low and sell when they're high. Yet, our instincts often drive us to do the exact opposite. We often get lured into investing when everyone else is and panic sell during market downturns. Warren Buffett, on the other hand, thrives on falling stock prices, viewing them as a chance to buy valuable shares at discounted rates. Think of it this way, if your favorite store offered everything at a 20% discount, wouldn't you be thrilled? Similarly, Buffett advises seizing sizable opportunities when they present themselves, suggesting that when fortune showers, it's time to gather abundantly. This strategy hinges on the fact that a good company with solid performance is likely to survive most dips in the market, while buying stocks when markets are struggling may help you discover undervalued gems 
it can be challenging to find a company whose share price has fallen but which is resilient enough to ride out the storm. Take the economic impact of COVID-19 for instance. Numerous countries have struggled directly due to this crisis, putting their continued survival in doubt. You don't want to pour money into a sinking ship. Principle number seven, approach your investments with a long-term mindset. Stocks are safe for the long run and they're very unsafe for tomorrow. Berkshire three times since I took over has gone down roughly 50%. Did I feel poor then? No, not at all. I knew it was gonna be worth more over time. American business is gonna be worth more over time. That's what you're buying as a business. You're not buying a stock, you're buying a piece of a whole bunch of businesses. Are those businesses gonna be worth more 10 or 20 or 30 years from now? Of course they are. But if you think you can jump in and out or that you know the time to come in, I think you're making a mistake. Warren Buffett often emphasizes, if you aren't willing to own a stock for 10 years, don't consider owning it for 10 minutes. His strategy isn't about short-term gains. He invests in businesses he believes in for the long haul. While he does sell stocks occasionally, his general approach is to invest with a lifelong mindset. If you're not thinking in terms of forever for a stock, Buffett suggests that a passive investment like an S&P 500 index fund might be better. The focus should be on investing in strong companies expected to yield returns over the long term. It's important to remember that some undervalued companies might take years to realize their potential, so patience is vital. And keep in mind that this isn't a get-rich-quick scheme, it's a steady path to wealth. While it demands patience and commitment, it's often less stressful than high-speed trading. Principle number eight, expect to make mistakes and plan around them. Warren Buffett might be a multi-billionaire, but he isn't immune to mistakes, something he openly acknowledges. As the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, he recalls his dumbest stock purchase being none other than Berkshire Hathaway itself. Back in 1962, after clashing with its management, he eventually bought a controlling interest to oust them. This impulsive move, he estimates, eventually cost him a staggering $200 billion. Buffett has also experienced other significant losses. For instance, he bought Dexter Shuko for $433 million using Berkshire Hathaway shares, which later skyrocketed to a value of $5.7 billion. Additionally, he missed the opportunity to sell his Tesco shares before the company's stock plummeted due to an overstatement of its profits. Yet every time Buffett errs, he transparently discusses it and strives to learn from each misstep. He even forewarns that he's bound to make future mistakes. A, I've, I've made lots of mistakes. Uh, uh, that's part of the game. I mean, there is no way in the investment business. Uh, somebody says to you they never made a mistake. Uh, you know, check them out. Uh, uh. There's a lesson for smaller investors. Past successes don't safeguard against future drawbacks. However, anticipating mistakes and diversifying risks can better weather unforeseen financial storms. Lastly, principle number nine is to invest in yourself. Buffett is a big believer in continuously learning throughout life and he emphasizes the importance of investing in oneself. He believes that personal development, whether through reading, continuous learning, or attending courses, can help you become a better investor. For Buffett, investing in oneself goes beyond personal growth. It involves nurturing good financial habits like living within one's means, avoiding credit card debt, saving consistently, and wisely reinvesting profits. So thank you for watching and staying with me till the end. If you have any comments or thoughts you would like to share, please do so in the comment section below. Until next time, have a great day.